A good morning to everyone. 30 days ago, Echad mi b'nei ha-chavura, one of the people that were part of this WhatsApp group, Harold Bernstein, Tzvi, Zichron Levracha, passed away, and his Shloshim is going to be tomorrow. And therefore, I want to dedicate everything I'm about to say to him and to say a word about him. We're getting closer to Hanukkah, and there's an interesting halacha regarding davening in Hanukkah. And that is that we should insert Al-Hanisim, but if we don't, we don't have to rectify the Shmon Esrei. The reason I believe is very simple. When you forget Ya'le V'yavo on Rosh Chodesh or on Cholomowet, then you're basically forgetting a part of davening. It should be in there and it's not, and you have to rectify it, at least at Shachris and Mincha on Rosh Chodesh and on Cholomowet, all three davenings. Not so on Hanukkah, because on Hanukkah we do say Modim Anach Nulach, Thank you, God. We even say, and on your miracles that are with us every day. And therefore, we are mentioning miracles and thanksgiving to God. Al Hanisim obviously compounds that. Or, as I'd like to say, Al Hanisim is thank you to the second power. But even without Al Hanisim, you have thank you. In a word, Al Hanisim is thank you very much. Without Al Hanisim, you still said thank you. And therefore, you don't have to rectify your Shmon Esrei because it's not missing from Shmon Esrei. It's in there, albeit in a smaller way. And I believe that was Harold Bernstein's Zechron Levracha. Anyone that listened to his wife Linda's Hesped for her husband knows that all she spoke about was their life together on a very, I would even say, simplistic and routine level. They got married, they had children, eventually their children got married, then there was Zohar to grandchildren, and she thanked God for each and every step on the way. That's exactly what we should do every day. It's not a given that we're alive today, it's not a given that we're safe today. I am absolutely sure that as I'm sitting here in my study, there are terrorists and enemies of the Jewish people that are trying to get me, and security forces of the State of Israel without any publication, without any publicity, are actually securing us. And therefore, each and every day, there's a routine that we have to thank God for. And then comes Hanukkah, and we add to it. But there's a thanksgiving there every single day. And that was Harold Zechron of Racha. Someone that was a man of routine was at Minyan every day, Dafyomi every day, and made sure to make every day substantial. And as we get closer to Hanukkah, I think that halacha, that you don't have to repeat al Nisim because the thanksgiving is there, challenges us. Are we thankful every day for the routine? Do we appreciate our routine and do so properly? Wishing everyone the Sorotovot and the Shabbat Shalom and a Chanukah Sameach.